Catalog is back once again. Let's not waste any time and jump right in. What does Kolar Manufacturer produce? Query answer. Human frumentari. Records indicate Kolar Manufactorum forges produce a range of civilian and military artifacts for forces allied to the Vatum province. Not a very specific answer, but it's fun to know that the Vatum estate has a dedicated weapons manufacturer. Query. What is the status of 05-032 Mendicant Bias following the destruction of Installation 04-B? Searching. 2,901,001 cases pending against poison found Mendicant Bias. Records in local cash indicate trial adjournment sine die on authority of new council. No juridical concurrence. Contra legum. Burn down. Searching. Alert. Trace flag found in human security forces records. Alert. Waypoint information restricted on authority of librarian. So, a few notes here. To start, we have mendicant bias referred to as a poison fount. Fount means a source of knowledge or information. So the term here refers to mendicant bias's defection to the flood. Next, we get the Latin term, ajournement sine die, meaning without assigning a hearing or court date, more or less. This basically means that there was a trial for mendicant bias, as we see in Halo Salentium's epilogue called Rebirth, but it wasn't officially scheduled and, in a manner of speaking, spontaneous. The next line indicates that the trial was done without juridical participation, contra legum, meaning against the law. I think it can be inferred at this point that no juridicals survived the firing of the Halo Array, as we have heard a bunch of references to them, but no references to their survival. The last two lines are kind of interesting. First, Catalog mentions a trace flag in the human systems it is infiltrating. I'm thinking this might mean a program trying to trace the security breach back to Catalog, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Now the last line is very familiar. This line, Waypoint Information Restricted on Authority of Librarian, is often used when Catalog cannot discuss something that has direct connections to future story elements. Could this be confirmation that we are indeed going to see Mendicant Bias in Halo 5 or some other future story? It certainly seems that way. Query. What is the designation for the Type 47 Scarab models, Ref Halo 2 versus Post Halo 3? Query. Answer. Human records classify these weapon platforms as Type 36 Ultra Heavy Assault Platform and Type 47 Ultra Heavy Assault Platform. So this has been something of a debate in recent years. Between Halo 2 and 3, we have two variants of the Scarab. Now when Halo Wars came out, it seemed that the debate was settled. There was the Type 47 Ultra Heavy Assault Platform, the variant seen in Halo 3, Reach, and the majority of Halo Wars, and the Type 36 Ultra Heavy Assault Platform, also called the Super Scarab. This is the one we see here in Halo Wars, and in Halo 2. However, when Halo Evolutions came out, namely the short story, Palace Hotel, the Scarab John encounters in Halo 2 was relabeled as a Type 47. So, despite the clear similarities between the Super Scarab in Halo Wars and the Halo 2 Scarab, we had to acknowledge that the Halo 2 Scarab was a Type 47. That's what the canon at the time said. And thus, the V1 and V2 nomenclatures were born, or rather, reborn since they were used before Halo Wars came out. Thankfully, Catalog here once again labels the Halo 2 Scarab as a Type 36, which I think will put at ease the minds of a number of fans. I know I'll sleep better at night. What? Don't look at me like that. This is serious business. Query. Is there a confirmed link between the Runting Yggdrasil Mark IX Armor Defense System and the Type 27 Anti-Aircraft Cannon both designated Mantis? Query. Answer. Though both systems share the same cognomen in human security forces designation system, they are not related. I... I don't even... Why was this question picked? Query. What company was Spartan 3 Commando Tom 293, Ref Deliver Hope, a part of Alpha, Beta, or Gamma? Query. Answer. Human Naval Records list requested individual as Tom A. 293. And so, Tom293 is from Alpha Company. I was actually kind of hoping he'd be from Beta, since now, only Noble 6 and Cat B320 are the only known members from Beta Company. Oh well, it's still cool information. Query, what was the name of the artillery pieces deployed by the Covenant in Mombasa in 2552 during the Prophet of Regrets invasion? Query, answer. Human, naval, and rumentari records indicate that this Covenant weapon is designated the Type 48 
Weevil Artillery Platform. For the curious, this is referencing the anti-air platform seen in the Halo 2 E3 2003 demo and the inactive one seen in Halo 2 itself. Query, are all Phantoms slipspace capable? Query, answer. Human, Naval, and Frumentari records do not indicate slipspace capacities for Type 44 or Type 52 troop carriers. Query, how many data drops do we have left, assuming you will stop when the Master Chief Collection comes out? 13 odd more? Query, answer. Access to pro bono information retrieval is not tied to availability of highest superlative entertainment collection. Now this one seems pretty obvious, but basically Catalog will keep answering questions no matter what. Its presence is not tied to the release of the Master Chief Collection. Though speaking of data drops, I do hope we see some before the MCC comes out, like we did with Halo CEA and Halo 4. I recall someone at 343 mentioned that Gek had an interesting backstory set for Spartan Ops, but it got cut in the end. Query answer. Accessible human through mentality. Records contain information extraction. Records for Matokagnatis, Gek Lar at Eyes, Facility Midnight in connection with terrorist attack on Erdetaidin Population Center, December 2557. Infer link to multiple fatalities and elevated threat condition at Facility Midnight, February 2558. Further information contained in currently inaccessible cores. This is certainly an interesting one. As stated, Gek, the Sangheili with the dead eye from Spartan Ops, was originally meant to have a more developed backstory, but it never came to fruition in-game. It seems that Gek, or rather one of his flunkies, carried out a presumably successful terrorist attack on a human city on Earth. By the way, if anyone is wondering how Gek or one of his soldiers would get to Earth... So tell me more about Rio. What else did I miss? Oh man, the place is a mess. I mean, too many Covenant Asylum Seekers. All pinned up. Yeah. Covenant Asylum Seekers. A Sangheili could presumably pretend to be seeking refuge to get to Earth, though admittedly the idea of the human government allowing such a thing is uncanny. Of course, that further assumes that the Earth government is allowing Covenant species the opportunity to seek asylum. It could be that they're illegally sneaking in, though how that would happen is beyond me. That would seem to be another big list of questions for Catalog. Anyway, that's all for now. Stay tuned to Halo Canon for more Catalog as it happens. For now, I'll see you Spartans next time for some Halo Escalation. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.